So in order to solve part A, we're going to need to use this formula right here. So the, the drift speed is equal to the current divided by the density of the electrons in the specific wire times the charge of the electrons multiplied by the cross-sectional area. So in your textbook, you'll find that the density of the electrons in a, in a copper wire will have the value of 8.46 times 10 to the 28th power electrons per meters cubed. So plugging in these values, we'll get a drift speed of 5.57 times 10 to the minus fifth meters per second. Part B is asking what happens to the drift speed in wires made of metal having a larger number of conduction electrons per atom than copper. So part B will answer it that the drift speed would be slower numerically, so we'd find that the number would decrease because more electrons are clogging up the path.